Scott Brown here. In today's exciting episode, we do a lot of landscaping. Makita have given me a Christmas present. I want to chuck the words ad gifted in like big letters right there. They've given me this. And they also gave me a hedge trimmer. I'm very grateful by the way, it's bloody amazing. But the reason I have these tools is because I need to get on top of this garden. I've been living in an apartment for five years and now I've got a front lawn and a back lawn and I don't know what to do. So in today's exciting episode, we're gonna tackle it all with battery tools. Oh my god, that's heavy. Hello? It's time to mow the lawns. <laughs> Finally! Now safety is paramount. I've got my steel toe cap shoes on. I've got my full brim hat. But, importantly, one thing that I'm realizing as I get a little bit older is long sleeve UV tops. Doesn't look very cool. I bought it for pretty cheap. I don't even know what brand it is, but it should protect me. Sunglasses, earmuffs, you know all this. Um, the sun's very intense here in New Zealand, especially this time of year. We're like peak summer. It's 26 degrees Celsius. That doesn't sound like a lot, but we have a big hole in the ozone layer above us and you don't have to be in the sun long before you get completely burnt, like 10 minutes. Now tools, this is the battery chainsaw from Hikoki. This is borrowed from my friend Eva. I'll put her Instagram here if you are into Hikoki tools. You should follow her on Instagram. I've been using this as you can probably tell and um, it's been really good. Makita hooked this up with the 40 volt, this way, the 40 volt XGT hedge trimmer. One 40 volt battery and then you can trim a whole bunch of hedges. That's the other tool. Now the key with, I'm already feeling it. Now the key issue that I'm having and Jess is having, allergies. We're allergic to everything, but we don't know what particular things are setting us off. So all the garden is flowering. We've got these big overgrown bushes. We've just got things everywhere. And um, it might be a process of elimination. So now I have two fully charged six amp batteries. Let's go figure out how this lawnmower works. What I'm interested in is, will the battery powered lawnmower be enough to tackle this section? I think the section's probably around about four to 500 square meters of grass and 36 volt battery. And if you look in here, you can see that there's two bays. You can actually put four batteries in. It'll use two at a time. Once you've used them up, if I've got batteries in there, It'll switch over to them. You just switch this over. So I've got it on two there. And let's see how long it lasts. Let me turn that on, I guess. Oh yeah. And then, what happens here? Oh, hey. I didn't even realize that. You don't even have to push it. The battery does it. I thought the battery just spun the blade. All right, so first step in what is setting off Scott and Jess's allergies? Grass. Let's start with the grass. Don't expect any COVID in my garden, but I do expect a lot of pollen. Key piece of information, push that in first. And that's actually what spins the blade. This back one gets the whole thing moving.
might need to redo this part. Can I say that? Sorry. There you have it. Two six amp batteries. One's on one bar and one is on two bars. And I did the whole front lawn. I went over parts of it twice because I was unsure about depth. I was, first I went quite high and then I realized I could have gone lower. So I think in normal conditions, when I haven't let it grow as much as I did, two batteries probably would have done it. Let's look at the back. So in a way, I've kind of got two backyards here. Got this one here, and then through this treacherous mess here, we have another one. Oh man. In this yard here, where I've cut down a big bush. So let's flash back to when I cut down the big bush with the Hikoki chainsaw. It doesn't look like the wires are rusty, it just looks like this is rusty. So this washing line cannot spin around. It's like very low. Oh, hey, there you go. I need to cut it up more, Jess. Where did I put the chainsaw? Yeah. Oh, is it? One full battery cut all of this. That's pretty good. Wow. This is coming from someone who knows very little about chainsaws. But, um, I like it. There we go, we got a little bit left, but not much. And I emptied the bag before, at the front, and this is the bag at the back. So in the future, I'll put all four batteries in, and I should be able to mow all my lawns. And that's kind of what I wanted to figure out with this lawnmower. This is like one of those reviews where I'm just happy that I've got it. <laughs> so I can't give you the nuance, you know, uh, functionality of the lawnmower. It's not something I know anything about. But I know battery tools, and now I know that four fully charged 6 amp batteries will mow my lawns. Something wrong with this. Is it? Hey Dad, oh yeah, it should be. tell us about the loppers. These are shocking. <laughs> Somebody can tell me how to operate them. But they go back and forwards, so the handles come off just like that. <laughs> Careful. It's <laughs> whacked my mum. This needs product, serious product improvement, guys. And there's not a brand name. Oh, this is a piece of quality gear, mate. Safety catches on, doesn't move when I move. Nice weight, good battery power, it's a 40 volt mix. This is a piece of kit, I love it. I'm gonna get one of these. Look at that, it's just good bit of grunt, bit of torque in it. Oh, this heads from on a scale of one to 10, I'll put it around about a seven or eight. I like it. Why not 10 out of 10? I can't rate anything out of 10 out of 10. So there you go. Everything you need to know about the Makita 40 volt hair trimmer. Where's my favorite piece of cut?
must be slow to idle before disengaging drive belts. So this is a uh, courtesy of Hypel. So I put add borrowed here. They let me borrow this for a few days for nothing. Thank you Hypel. Much appreciated. We're going to chip up all that wood. It's a wood chipper. And we're going to put it into this green bag. This is a um, this one goes to the green waste. Unfortunately, that orange one just goes to landfill. So it's filled with a mixture of building materials and trees. And this is Patrick. Hi guys. Jess is dead. That is what's left of the pile. That bag and this scrap of mess here. That's a little over full. Hey, you're so Haven't you even started the back? Creepers, <laughs> creepers. <laughs> Nothing has ever sweated so much for a long time. So off camera, we uh, brought the chipper around here yesterday and we lessened some of these piles they're obviously still still big piles but uh we turned some of it into this mulch and the green bag out the front we're going to keep uh, that's filled with mulch and we'll use that around the garden as well just to cover up all the exposed soil but yeah Since we cut the bush out, look at this. A warm glow is able to get through the house. And Jess is admiring it. Bye-bye hmm. tree. <laughs> what a mess. <laughs> <laughs> 